morning from the streets of Nashville. It's so warm in here. I turned the heater on like 10 minutes ago, right when I woke up, and it's already 63 degrees back here. And outside, it is 28 degrees, which is crazy. And there's something like so cozy about knowing that it's freezing cold outside, but warm in here. I don't know, but um, today is day 17. If you guys are new here, I live out of the back of my van full time. I'm currently on a road trip from Las Vegas to Maryland. Today is day 17 and we are on the streets of Nashville. <sighs> All right, so I'm gonna get changed real quick and then uh, we're hitting the road. All right, there we go. So we're already running kind of a little over an hour behind schedule at the moment. I wanted to leave here by eight, but it is currently 9 a.m. So that obviously did not happen. So now we're kind of in a rush because we've got kind of a long drive ahead of us. So for anyone who has been a lifelong fan of this channel, you might remember seven months ago when I drove up to the top of the Blue Ridge Mountains and cooked some ratatouille. And what was at the time the start of this trip, it was three days after I left my house um, and I've been on the road for seven months since. I think it was two or three days after I left my house that I was on top of the Blue Ridge Mountains making ratatouille. And that was really the first video that I ever put out after I quit my job and started doing this full time. And honestly, that video is the worst video that I've ever put out on YouTube. You can still go watch it. It's, it's posted seven months ago. It's my third video up from the bottom, but it's absolutely terrible. So I figured today, since we're back in the area, kind of, we still got a five hour drive. I'm gonna head back up to the top of the Blue Ridge Mountains and try to cook ratatouille again, but hopefully do it better this time with the correct equipment. So first thing we need to do is go to the store, grab all the stuff we need to cook ratatouille, and then the second thing we need to do is drive five hours to the top of the Blue Ridge Mountains. I can't go back to the exact spot that I went to when I cooked the ratatouille for the first time because half of the Blue Ridge Parkway is closed down for some reason because I think the, the road washed out or something, so I found another overlook that we can, one, cook our dinner at and sleep over for the night, so I'm excited, but uh, let's go to the store because we are running late. All right. We got everything, and we're kind of in a race against time to get to the spot before it gets dark. And it's actually surprising how little ingredients you need to make ratatouille if you've never made it before. You only need like four or five things. You just need the vegetables, some seasoning, tomatoes, and then that's pretty much it. And they didn't have any eggplants, so I just got some summer squash instead, so that should be fun. Fridge is still in absolute shambles right now. I haven't had the time to organize it or clean it in these last couple days, so I will clean it when I get home. So we've got a five hour drive ahead of us to get to this spot on the Blue Ridge Mountain. So uh, I will check in with you guys once I get there. at the Blue Ridge Parkway. You can see that sign right there. Up here on the right, right before we get onto the uh, parkway itself, is actually the second spot that I ever stayed overnight in my van. Like the, the second night after I finished my build and left on my road trip two years ago, this was the second place that I ever stayed in the van. It's just past this bridge. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but right in that lot down there, there's a parking lot right to the side right there. That's where I stayed my, my second night ever in the van. And now we're about to stay in a spot that's uh, just down the road about two miles away. Pretty good view from that spot though. But the spot we're staying is up here uh, 
just off the parkway. And then worst case scenario, if I don't feel like uh, staying at the spot that we're driving to, I can always just turn around and head two miles back down the road and, and stay right there. There's a pretty good view right there too, so, but we'll see. All right, and it's just up here to the left. I'm so glad that we made it here before sunset. That would have sucked. There you go, this is where we're gonna be cooking our ratatouille tonight. All right, so I'm gonna get myself turned around real quick so we can cook dinner with this nice view because my door opens on that side. This is where we are going to call home for the second to last night of this trip, so not a bad spot. So we're just kind of on the uh, side of the road right here. So that's the main road we pulled up in on. And then this is like a little pull out. And then this is the view from the spot looking over Black Mountain. Pretty nice, definitely not a bad campsite for the night, but I'm actually pretty hungry and I do enjoy Ratatouille. I've made it two or three times before. One other time in the van on the Blue Ridge Parkway for the first video of this trip. And now we're gonna make it again for the second to last video. So I'm excited. I also refilled the uh, diesel heater before we came up here. So this should be topped off, turn that on and we'll stay warm while we're cooking. All right, let's start by getting our ingredients prepped. We got our carrots, our zucchini and our squash, and our aroma potatoes. Oh, and then uh, an onion. Now we have to take our tomatoes, our squash, and our zucchini and cut them into a million little coins so that I can set them up in the pan in a circle. All right, so now that we've got all of our vegetables prepped, we can start making the crushed tomato kind of puree in the pan and that'll kind of be the base layer of the ratatouille. And then the vegetable discs kind of get arranged on top of that after we uh, saute that. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Oil in the pan, get that all nice and hot and then we'll add some garlic. And then the onions and cook those till uh, clear and a little bit fragrant. Oh, and also we're gonna add the carrots too. All right, now that these are nice and cooked up, we can add these crushed tomatoes and you guys will be very happy to find out that I finally got a can opener. So after seven months of traveling and probably opening 50 cans with my knife, I finally remembered to pick up a can opener at Walmart. So now I don't have to use my knife to open this can. I can use my new can opener. I cannot believe it took me seven months just to get a can opener. So much easier. All right, so we need one and a third cup of this, and that gets added right in there. Sorry, not one and a third, one and three fourths. There we go. Mix that up. And then to our sauce, we can add a bunch of dried basil, a little bit of oregano, some garlic powder, and then salt and some pepper. And we'll mix all that in. And then we'll let that simmer for like 15 minutes. And of course, as always, in between cooking steps, I'll clean up the mess that I currently made to make room for the mess that I'm about to make. All right, it's been about 15 minutes. This sauce looks like it's thickened up nicely and just about done. So now I'm going to close the door because it's getting getting dark out. Say goodbye to the Blue Ridge Mountains till morning. And then we'll get this transferred over into this cake pan and then arrange those veggies so we can bake it. That's spread out nice and evenly across the pan. Now we can get started on the tedious job of arranging all of these one by one. And I'm gonna do that in about 2.7 seconds. And there we go. That is our beautiful ratatouille spiral. Now I just gotta coat these in olive oil.
And there we go. Now I can throw these in the oven that I've been preheating and let those cook for 30 minutes and then we'll be ready to eat. So I think that once I get home from this trip and I have the van in a stationary spot where I can do some work on it without technically having to live in it for a couple days, I'm going to fix up some stuff. So there's some like scuffs and, and other small things that I just wanna paint up again and, and kind of fix up and make them look nice. And then I'm gonna give the van a deep clean and reorganize pretty much everything and get myself set for my next trip because it's gonna be a really long trip. And I don't wanna be as disorganized this time because it just adds too much stress. So I'm gonna organize the entire van, get it all cleaned up, do some minor repairs and maybe upgrade a few things. I'm not really too sure yet, but I guess we'll see. I don't think I'm gonna do anything too major because I don't feel like dealing with it, but I think that's what I'm gonna do with my time while I'm home. I'm also gonna take the van to get serviced, get all the fluids drained, flushed, replaced, um, tires rotated, aligned. I might get new tires. I don't know, I'm definitely gonna get new brakes. And then um, I think that's pretty much it, but a lot of stuff is gonna happen while I'm home, getting this van ready for the next trip. So if you guys do like my videos and you've enjoyed these daily vlogs, I'm gonna continue doing vlogs like this for the foreseeable future. Um, it won't be daily vlogs, uh, but it'll be like three to four times a week, depending on what I'm doing and where I'm going. And I'll also try to keep it a good mix up of going and doing adventure stuff and then daily life stuff. So I've learned from this 20 day trip that you guys really enjoy the kind of gritty kind of daily life stuff that isn't as exciting, but I guess is just as interesting. So I will definitely try to incorporate as much of that into my videos from here on out. It won't just be location or food based. I'll kind of just do daily vlogs every so often and then I'll also go to cool places as well. But I've definitely learned a lot from this 20 days. It's been a lot, uh, a lot of work and it was kind of a, a stress test on myself. So I wanted to see if I could do daily vlogs for a kind of extended period of time and 18 days is probably pushing the maximum that I could probably do it for with the documenting my entire day style type video. If I was doing like little subsections of my day, it might have been a little bit easier, but since I was documenting start to finish every single day for 18 days, I don't think that most people could do that long term. So um, that's why I'm not going to do the daily vlogs once I get back on the road again after the uh, holidays. But basically what I'm trying to say is that there's a lot more content to come. So if you haven't already, please make sure you click that subscribe button. It really does help turn on notifications and uh, I'm excited for what 2023 will bring. All right, it has been about 30 minutes. So I'm gonna pull this out. Oh, that looks beautiful. Set that down right there. And let that cool off for like five minutes. And then we'll be eating. Actually, top that with some extra basil. Oop, a little too much there. There we go. That is some beautiful looking ratatouille. So I also have pretty decent um, service up here. So I'm gonna see if I can get the Caps game on the TV while I eat. <laughs> there we go. Now we can watch the Caps game tonight while we eat. So I'm not sure how to uh, plate this like, like they do in the uh, movie. So I'm just gonna kind of scoop some out and put it in my dish. But fun fact about ratatouille, it's kind of like lobster in the sense that it used to be a peasant dish. Back when it was first made, it was basically just a stew, a stew full of vegetables that you mix together. And and since then, it's kind of become more of a mainstream dish, but it didn't start out that way. It was something made for poor farmers. That is our beautiful ratatouille. I'm not even gonna try to plate it pretty because it's just not gonna turn out well. So we're just gonna scoop a bunch of them. And I'm honestly not a big, just like, vegetable guy, but this stuff is actually really good. I would definitely recommend making something else with it and not having this be your main dish because it's not very filling, but it'll do the trick for tonight. I got some cheese its on the side as well. Can't forget a fork. And there we go. Does it get any better than that? Ratatouille, hockey, camping on the Blue Ridge Mountains. Alrighty, let's dig in, cheers. Very good. I'd honestly use a little bit more salt though. I think this really is the epitome of, of glamping. It's 32 degrees outside, 67 in the back of the van. I made homemade ratatouille and I'm watching live sports. So I know most people probably wouldn't consider this camping and I don't really consider it camping either. It's just, it's just a mobile apartment, honestly. But I'm just going to uh, enjoy the rest of this ratatouille, probably get seconds. Watch the caps hopefully dominate the uh, Red Wings. 
And then I'm probably gonna go to bed because I have a really long day tomorrow again. It's gonna be the last full day that we spend in the van before we get home. So I've got a lot of driving and a lot of places that I wanna go see and things I wanna do tomorrow. So I have to be up super, super early so that I can drive there and get there while it's still light out. And then I'm gonna end this whole 18 day van life extravaganza series at the first spot that I ever camped in when I started living in my van. So it was the first spot that I drove to. The night after I finished building my van, uh, I drove to this spot, it's like two hours from my house. I drove there on a Sunday night and then had to wake up on Monday at 7 a.m. and work there for nine hours before I could drive somewhere else because when I first started van life, I was still working a nine to five. But yeah, so I think that would be a really cool place to end this whole trip and then, uh, we're going to wake up and head home in the morning. So as always, I appreciate you guys watching. If you guys have watched every single video, if you've been watching from the beginning, I truly appreciate you and I will catch you guys in the morning.